popular. Another day, another Dussel vlog, and today we're going to give this one a bit of a theme. We're going to give it an Anglo-French theme. So we're going to look at some vans today from the UK and from our friends in France. We're going to start today on the Swift stand, or should I say the Sprite stand. So unlike in the UK where Swift has become a very strong single brand, over here the caravans are still sold under the Sprite label. So you can see here, the base camp is actually the Sprite base camp. Which I guess is just because that is the strongest brand over here. Same base camp we all know and love from the UK. However, I want to turn my attention to this little baby, the Sprite Alpine Sport, simply because it's a terrific little caravan and it's a layout that sadly is no longer sold in the UK even though it's a terrific little layout. So this caravan comes in at just over 18,000 euro with an empty PLM up to 1,350 kilos. And we have an end kitchen as you walk in. And then, it's very simple, a nice big lounge at the front. So we've got the same upholstery as in the UK, that nice new blue. But unusually, as many of you may have noticed, still has the single window at the front, the one piece window. Then looking towards the rear, wardrobe, washroom and kitchen. So this kitchen is, it's quite good actually. The sink and the cooker are fairly compact. You're not gonna get huge pans on that cooker, but you've got a great workspace here, either to put the draining board or to work on. Hmm, no soft clothes here. And then, unlike UK sprites, no shower again. So you can tell it's just how people use their caravans differently in different countries. Obviously, this caravan is designed to be used on caravan sites, whereas the UK Sprite is designed to be used both on sites and independently on a field, on a rally. So there you have it. Now on the auto sleepers stand and Interesting, they, they only have van conversions here. So I brought you to show a continental version of one of my favorite auto sleepers, which is the Kingham. Over here, it's retailing in this particular guise at 73,000 euro. And it really is a gorgeous luxury camper for two people with little lounge here opposite serviceable kitchen has a very British feel I have to say and at the back you have this luxury French bed you put the light on and the extractor fan comes on here 
you have everything you need. Including a shower. Hello. We'll turn that off. For the fan to go off. So yeah, it's just a nice luxury camper van. Slightly different layout to what many of us are used to. It could really work for, for two people. Looking for comfort and luxury in an easily maneuverable package. Upon direct instruction of my friends Kevin and Kathy on the Isle of Lewis, I've brought you to look at a Rapido low-profile motorhome. Because if Dougal wants any more biscuits and I want any more cake, we will do what we're told. The price of this one, as fitted, is 68,000 euros. And this is great, you've got an adjustable height garage. We'll have a brief look inside. So this one is fitted in cream leather upholstery. Contrasting with the walnut finish on the roof lockers. I'm gonna to have to get my estate agent's music out again, aren't I? This is neat, this table. I mean, I love simple. And it doesn't get much more simple than that. A smart little kitchen. Some clothes. I do like these cookers where they're in a line because it just gives you this little bit of work surface here. Decent sized fridge freezer. TV goes in there. And this one as the island bed at the rear, which of course raises up to give you more space in the garage. This side is the shower. The washroom. Oh, 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 and we have an opportunity here. Hello. Hello Kathy and Kevin on the Isle of Lewis. That door separates the washroom from the living area, but it's not just open to the bedroom because we have some sliding doors here, which separates off the washroom from the bedroom. Sorted. Daily Dose of Vintage, which is this beautiful 1968 Cheltenham. What was interesting about caravans, or this particular caravan, is that it was built as a two-door model, so it could be sold both in the UK and overseas with no modification. See the old gas light there? Gosh, I remember those. How old does that make me feel? Beautiful wood panelling on the sides. If we look up, that's the 1968 equivalent of the Hecky roof light. And here's the kitchen from the rear, oh the little Electrolux fridge. And those drawers that were angled so that the, uh, the, down, the downward sloping angle kept them in place. Oh, look at the cupboard. Who remembers that 1960s rippled glass? Not me, I'm far too young. <coughs> and um, noticed 
the gas light at the back. Probably the most innovative caravan here is the S Caravan, which is towable on the roads and it folds out. So I'll take you for a guided tour. Um, on one of the sides folds out to become a double bedroom. And I love this bit, a desk, just what I need. In the main body of the caravan, we got a dinette at the front. Here we are. And then we go through to the kitchen. So, I mean, it's amazing. It's got everything. It's even got a dishwasher. Amazing. You say this weighs 2.5 tons? Yeah. So you need quite a hefty truck to tow this. How's this for a fridge freezer? Oh my goodness. Huge. I see you've got the President cheese in there. I'll be back later and it's lunchtime. And a freezer? Freezer, yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So yeah, so this is just the kitchen and we go through to the salle de bain with washing machine, I need one. Hello. And shower compartment, separate toilet. And then finally, the kids' bedroom. Please. So this, the dog doesn't come with the caravan. It's with me. <laughs> so your name is, your name? My name is Toma. Toma, Toma. So Toma is gonna explain to us a few of the features the S caravan, the so wind turbine, yeah, wind turbine on the roof for electricity. There are also solar panels on the roof but they've closed down because it's raining. I'll just have a quick look at the uh, fold down on this side. Okay, sure. Thomas had to rush in. So this folds down on this side. It is uh, absolutely incredible. So this is just a prototype, it's not on sale, but some amazing innovation going on here. Absolutely incredible. That is us done for another day. Hope you enjoyed that as ever. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't already. Just leaves me to say from me and from Dougal. Who is obviously on a mission. Thanks for tuning in.